It's 10 trivia questions from a confidence round at my live trivia nights in Southern California. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for checking out this podcast. It comes out every day, and if you like trivia, if you like pop culture, you are in the right place. There's 500 episodes to go check out, over 500. So go through the feed and click on something that you dig if you're brand new. If you uh, if you like trivia, we do a little bit of everything on this show. Sometimes it's me asking questions. Sometimes it's me recording a live show, like a round from a live show. Sometimes I have friends on, and they'll battle. Sometimes I'll just... Um, have people send me questions and I try and figure them out. So it's a little different every time. Uh, but the majority of the episodes are just me asking questions for you to try and figure out. So lots of stuff to binge and play along with and hopefully get some fun entertainment out of. This is a great show for people who play weekly trivia and are looking for maybe a little bit more in their lives. And I found that if people get into the routine of playing weekly trivia, amazing things can happen. Things like proposals. That's right. My friends uh, uh, Cam and Laura got their uh, their proposal on after a couple of years, but they met at a trivia night of mine at a place called Last Name Brewing in Upland, California. They met, I think, three or four years ago, and uh, they were on two separate teams. They kind of converged one night, then they started dating, then they moved in together, then they got engaged, now they're getting married. So uh, very, very cool stuff can happen at trivia nights. It's a fun little group outing. And if you're looking to play with me somewhere at my 20 different places around SoCal, you can go to TriviaWithBuds.com and see where I'm at. Uh, every single day I'm at some other place and I'm doing bingo or I'm doing trivia or I'm doing comedy or a mixture of all three. And I would love to see you. If you're uh, going to be in Southern California uh, from out of town and you're flying in and you're like, hey, can I come see one of your shows? That is always encouraged. That's happened a few times in the history of the podcast. So I'd love to uh, accommodate and try and do something fun while you're in town. If you love Disney this Saturday night, I will be at a place called J Riley distillery from eight to 10 30. And they have amazing spirits that they make right there on the spot. So they do bourbon, they do uh, tequila, whiskey, vodka, all that good stuff. And uh, it's in Redlands, California. And from eight to 10 30, we're doing all Disney trivia tickets available in the banner at the top of my website, trivia with buds. Dot com. Today's episode is a confidence round. I'm going to read you 10 totally random questions, and you are going to write down the answers if you are able to, or you can just yell them out in your car or whatever you're doing. Um, but if you want to try and score yourself, you'll rank them one through 10. 10 the highest you can give something. One's the lowest you can give something. And uh, whatever you give something, that's how many points you get for getting it right. So you can get up to 55 points on this round, and we'll see how you do with uh, these 10 totally random questions. I get a lot of these from the Jeopardy archives, and sometimes they just pop in my head, and then I have a bunch of random books and old Trivial Pursuit games and stuff. So when I'm really looking for something good to stump you, this is usually the round you'll find it in. We're going to jump into those 10 questions right now. Here we go. All right, here we go with 10 totally random questions from a confidence round that I use to close out my live trivia nights. Here's number one. What's another name for your scapula? Number one, what's another name for your scapula? Question number one. Question number two, what company makes big red gum? Number two, what company makes and produces big red gum? Number two. Question number three on your list. What mall retail clothing store was founded by brothers Jerry and Mark Silverman in 1977? Number three, what mall retail clothing store was founded by brothers Jerry and Mark Silverman back in 1977? Question number four. The group The Crests had what 1958 song about turning a certain age? Number four, the group The Crests had what 1958 song about turning a certain age? Number four. Question number five, what country invented the saxophone? The musical instrument, the saxophone. Is that Belgium, France, or Russia? Number five, what country invented the sax? Is that Belgium, France, or Russia? Number five. Number five. 
Question number six, what fictional California town is the setting for the series Veronica Mars? Number six, what fictional California town is the setting for the series Veronica Mars? Number six. Question number seven, D4L was a group that had a hit song named after what candy? Number seven, D4L was a group that had a hit song named after what candy? Number seven. Question number eight, what game from Z-Man Games has players treating and giving infections around the world? Number eight, what board game, I can give you that, what board game from Z-Man Games has players treating and giving infections around the world? Number eight. Question number nine, what megastar married longtime girlfriend Lauren Haitian in Hawaii on August 18th, 2019, just recently. Number nine, what megastar married longtime girlfriend Laura Haitian in Hawaii on August 18th, 2019? And question number 10, what year was the original PlayStation system released in North America? Number 10, what year did the original PlayStation come out in the U.S.? All right, that is your quiz for today. 10 totally random questions. If you're playing along, write down all the answers. Rank them 1 through 10. 10 the highest you can give something. 1 the lowest you can give something. You can only use each number one time in the ranking process. and can score up to 55 points. We'll see how you did with the answers in just a bit. All right, here we go. Confidence round answers. How did you do? Did you learn something? Did you know something with this round? I hope you did. Number one, what's another name for your scapula? That would be the shoulder blade. Number one, your shoulder blade. That's number one. Number two, what company makes big red gum? That would, of course, be Wrigley's, like Wrigley's, uh, Wrigley Field in Chicago, Wrigley's. Number three, what mall retail clothing store was founded by brothers Jerry and Mark Silverman in 1977? That was a tough one. That was American Eagle. Number three, American Eagle. So if you got that one, you're very smart with mall stores. Number four, the group The Crests had what 1958 song about turning a certain age? The answer was 16 Candles. A lot of people this week just wrote 16, but uh, I was looking for the title of the song, which would have been 16 Candles. Number five, what country invented the saxophone? Belgium, France, or Russia? That would be Belgium. Belgium invented the sax, or the guy that lived in Belgium, invented the saxophone. Number six, what fictional California town's the setting for the series Veronica Mars? That would be Neptune, California, which is supposed to be kind of a sleepy beach town, similar to Newport Beach in some ways. That's number six. And uh, speaking of Veronica Mars, I should do a whole episode on V Mars. I don't think I've done it before. And uh, I'm in the middle of re-watching the series with the family uh, so we can watch the newest season, season four. But man, what a great show, great characters, and uh, Kristen Bell, really, really good. If you haven't seen that show and you have Hulu, go back and watch all the Veronica Mars. It's very cool, and it's a nice little uh, jump back 15 years to the styles of the mid-2000s. Number seven, D4L was a group that had a hit song named after what candy? A lot of people put Tootsie Roll for this one, that, but that song was by the 69 Boys, which I think I asked a couple weeks ago. Um, but this one was Laffy Taffy, Shake That Laffy Taffy. Remember that? song number eight what game from z-man games has players treating and giving infections around the world i was looking for pandemic pandemic number eight number nine what megastar married longtime girlfriend lauren haitian in hawaii last week that was the rock Dwayne the rock johnson and number 10 what year was the original playstation released in north america that was back in 1995 that's right 95 i was 10 years old my friend jerry uh, we call them bud for some reason uh jerry it had uh, Twisted Metal, and we used to go to his house and sit there and play that all day long. And uh, it was a good time. Back then, those graphics were stellar. Guys, those are your questions and answers for today's episode of the show. Hope you had fun playing along with those. And if you want to support the show and help us grow bigger and better every day, like my new friend, Veronica Baker, V-Ron, just signed up for the $50 tier, which means she's going to get all kinds of cool stuff. She gets everything that's under the $50 tier, and she's going to get herself a uh, zip file every month that has all my slides for my live trivia night. So if you're a trivia host yourself or you're looking for content for your own podcast or whatever it is, I'll send you these PowerPoints that I use at my live nights and you can uh, do whatever you want with them. So uh, that is the $50 tier. There's tons of other tiers below that. If you just want to throw a few bucks uh, here and there, 
uh, I would be super grateful. And that's all at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. You can find the link in the show notes. Also, guys, uh, I'm going to do a sign-up sheet of some kind, some sort of spreadsheet or something at the beginning of September. We did hit a 50 patron goal where uh, I was trying to get up to 50 patrons, and you guys made it happen. And those 50, the first 50 people that signed up are going to get a pop culture item of their choice, a uh, franchise of their choice. And I will go out and shop, spend a whole day going, okay, let's see, what does my friend Sweet Abby Cakes want? She wants something from Star Trek, and then I get her something cool. And I'm like, all right, what does my friend Jordan Zeilinger want? He wants something from Star Wars. All right, let's get him this scarf with R2-D2 on it or something. Uh, so it'll be a fun day for me. I'll try and document it, and uh, I'll get you guys some very cool stuff because that was my milestone from the beginning. If we get up to 50, everybody gets something cool from something that they love. So uh, thanks for being a part of that. I appreciate it. Uh, it's time for the question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Go to them for all your printing needs at fmdesignsinc.com. The question is, who wrote the first detective novel known as The Moonstone? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was par for the name of the family in The Incredibles. P-A-R-R was the answer. Par. And your trivia team name of the day for today is Don Quizote. So it's like a play on Don Quixote, but it's Quizote. So if uh, you want to use that one next time you play, feel free. Guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about the show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers.